Hi, baby. Hey, babe. What's up, everybody? Uh, we're here tonight. Uh, we're going to do a, an axle back install uh, for a CNL axle back from American Muscle, which I ordered for my 2021 GT. Sitting over there on ramps already. We got the saws already, a marker ready. But I just got here and we got to do our install, you know, on nights and stuff to do work. So, I'm just now unboxing this thing. Wow. Holy moly. Babe, look at those tips. So look wow. At this baby, man. Babe, go underneath the fireball light. Nice. You huh? go to your right. Right there. Look at that. Wow, babe, so, that's gorgeous. We got some Monday Night Football. We got our Up beers. over there. And we're ready to roll. So, I'll be back, people, when I'm under the car and ready to do our cut. Peace. Here you go. All right, guys. So we're under the car right now. We got this side and this side to do. I'm gonna start by uh, the left side, the driver's side, and per the instructions on American Muscle, um, you gotta make the cut right after the 90 degree turn. So we're gonna mark it off with a marker. We got our saws out right here, and it's gonna be right about here. Maybe you agree with that? When you make your mark, uh, double check it. As soon as it comes out of the curve and it goes straight. Yeah, I think right about here is good. You just have to keep straight. Kind of curve there, but you can keep straight, I think. Um, and then I'm going to come over here and do this one. You can see that line right yeah, here. Yeah, see the, the line? Crease, yeah, right straight up, right down. Crease. Yeah, straight down. Right there, that's good. All right, be back. All right, guys, we're ready to cut. My hubby over here is going to do the cut because uh, the saw's at a little bit of an awkward position. It's very big for me, so he's going to go ahead and do that. And he remarked it a little bit further over, so here we go. Turn this on fucking car ramps. <laughs> Okay, so I made the cut. My lovely wife over here is gonna have the daunting test of taking it out the hanger mount. That part weighs about 25 pounds. <coughs> Holy damn, damn good friend. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need no stinking tool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pause that shit. <laughs> All right, so I made the cut already. Here we go again. I know. They, they said you need a tool to take it out the hanger. No, but she's got this woman power here. <laughs> Alright, okay. so I got my key. We're going to do a start and disturb the neighborhood, you know. So, yeah. Raise <laughs> some hell up in here. Because um, we always got to start, you know, if you take mufflers out of a car like this, you got to start it and see what it sounds like. Yeah. It's not a cold start because I drove it up the road. Yep. Yeah, when we put the axle back on, it's gonna redirect that sound at the rear. <laughs> okay. All right. So we got both pipe, both, both mufflers off, and one of the things that they say is you gotta file down uh, the edges to make it clean. So we have a oh, the wrong side. Uh, we got file. Yeah, take all the burrs off the steel.
Stand by for part two. All right, that's my baby. You ready to put the axle back in? Okay, so it was suggested that we do uh, some lube on the end of this uh, bracket that goes the hanger that goes into the, the rubber grommet up here. And so we put some silicone on. Of course, that would happen to me. <laughs> it's testing you, baby. It's testing me. Oh, it did it. And it landed right on the oh, stomach. I got it, I got it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. It went in? Yeah. That's what she said. Oh, shit. <laughs> if you need the rubber mallet, got baby. Got it. It's to your left hand. Okay, babe. Oh, look at that. Wow. Uh, I just got to make it sure it's lined up. Oh, oh my, my God. God! There goes all your beer. Safe. Lick it off the the floor. No. All right, I think it's good there. It looks well centered. Oh See man, it? yes. Looks good. Oh yes. So we're gonna come back over here. There are no the gaps. There my are no trusty gaps. Uh, Dewalt impact gun. There's no gaps. Yeah, that's all. Bada bing. Slide the bracket over it. The question is, I put it here. No, no, no. Face it up, babe. Right no, no, at the very right, end. Right right at the very end, yes. Okay. I have it on set number two. Hold on, mate. Let it rip. Good. Yep. I'll come back later. All right, passenger side next. Have you there? Yeah. Well, we're doing the passenger side now. Brackets going in. The bracket, the babe. It's not the right way. You're right. Oh, very nice. A little silicone on the shaft. The rubber mallet's behind you. Let me get that for you. That's right there, just in case. Is it is it centered here? It's not centered here. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, it looks it looks a little it looks centered. No, I no, it's not no, 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 no. You gotta bring it in a lot more. It's gotta come out, it's too far in. I'm not understanding why it's not centered the right way. Hold on. No, I am. We're down in Miami, so it's really hot. It's Monday Night Football. So we're having some brewskis out here at the same time. Well, we disturbed the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to go for a ride later in this thing. All right, here we go. We have to cut a little more off the pipe. Level it out. The, it was, there's some, the pivot wasn't good. Yeah. And uh, actually, I should have stopped. I don't know what's happening in that game. It's making me nervous. <laughs> I can't hold on. There we go. The rim, so back on top. Yeah. Yeah, so, there, game, so like how's the gap, game, babe? Man. How's the gap? I think it's good. Hold on, I'm gonna check. But that game's gonna be like uh, the Green Bay game last night. All right, so we got it good. She's gonna tighten down the bracket towards like yeah, right at the end, yeah. By the way, this is a 15 millimeter socket. Uh, 
I mean, I want to tighten this a little bit more. All right, put it on number three. Where the hell is it? Because the light right is Right there. Oh. That's... All right, hold on, babe. Hold on. Closer. Hold on. What? Yeah, babe. Hot Miami nights. So <laughs> I need to tighten this, and I do not have a deep socket 15 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is move the socket, place it on it, and then just pull the impact gun up to it and get it in there. there. A little more, a little more. Get it tight. Keep going. Whatever, it's in all the way now. Oh. That's what she said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Come on. Got it. Keep going, keep going. Good, good, good. Good? Yep. Alrighty then. Next one. I gotta change arms because I'm a righty and I'm a lefty. My power arm is right. Keep going. That's it. <laughs> okay, we're all done. Nice and easy. Beautiful. Oh my god. Here she goes. She went. Oh, she's backing up. No. Yeah, she, oh, she made a U-turn. Yes. Well, we're on 136 Street. Very quiet in 
inside the cabin. Yeah. But out there. Forget about it. Out there. Naughty I'm mom later on. Cool. How about that? I'm, I'm not setting a good example tonight. You play a much stick shift? project is going to be to install a splitter, a splitter, uh, the MMP, uh, MP Concept splitter also from American Muscle and that's going to be our next project, a whole other video, a whole other task and just so you get a little background because this channel is new, um, a lot of the work I do, a lot of the work my hubby does, um, he's barely on video on this one but he will be in other ones. Some of the work we've already done, we got this car uh, August 13th, which was a Friday 13th, its name is Jason, 
and we already put a uh, one inch uh, wheel spacers all around. I colored the, uh, I spray colored the um, calipers, put some decals on. I swapped the, uh, the coiler. It's kind of dark out here, but I work during the day, so I can't do this during the day. I, sp I swapped the factory spoiler, which is a nice little black lip, it's in storage now, for the uh, aftermarket GT500 uh, spoiler. And now we got the new exhaust. Uh, other thing I did, which I think I locked the car, but. Nope, I didn't. I put in, uh, I got that on eBay. I could actually put a uh, link for that as well. And it says GT with the numbers for the gears and stuff, my white chip knob. Um, other than that, we're still, it's a work in progress. Little by little. Oh, and I put in uh, a drop in, a drop in K&N uh, filter. I didn't do the air intake because uh, the k &N really doesn't offer like a performance uh, upgrade because the diameter of the, the air intake remains the same so it's not really it's not really um, conducive conducive to doing all this air intake if you're gonna go you know Stita or um, some other brand Roush or something yes it requires a tune it would void my warranty so I just did a drop-in filter which offered me maybe one or two horsepower more but whatever um, so stay tuned please like subscribe if you like what you see support us uh, this is our home this is our home garage we do all our stuff here we got Harleys we work on I got all kinds of upgrades to do on this thing soon I put in a new black uh, pedal. I've done all kinds of stuff in this thing too. Um, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys.